first, the student took the blame. You tell me what you told the police. I said that I broke the phone. But now, accuses a bully. He picked the phone up and smashed it. He's like a mean kid, so I just kept my mouth shut. Then, another story from Dad. He said he didn't do it, but they said if he did not say he did it, then he would be arrested. Did you hear the police say that to him? Judge Judy. Mr. Huckabee, it is your claim that the defendant's son is responsible for the destruction of your daughter's iPhone in school. Yes. And his parents seem to have one of two alternate defenses. The first defense is that he was only one of two boys who was responsible for the phone, and you're picking on him because you couldn't get the other boy to. And the second defense is that she shouldn't have had a phone in school anyway. That's your second defense? Yes. Now, is your last name Wilson? It is. And Mr. Wilson, since you volunteered that that was the second defense, is that the defense that you think is appropriate or that your wife thinks is appropriate? It's a situation of what they're saying didn't happen the way they, it, they said it happened. That's I just want to know who came up with that defense. She wasn't supposed to have a phone in school anyway. That was just a school That's policy. Not as a defense, Your Honor. Okay, just some, so just I can eliminate that. Yeah, just, yes. So I can eliminate that defense she wasn't supposed to have a phone yes. in school anyway. Yes. Okie dokie. Tell me your name. Stockton Wilson. First name? Stockton. Do you know this young lady? Yes. How many years have you gone to school with her? Maybe two. Do you like her? I like her, I guess. Good. Do you take a phone to school? No. Because it's against the rules. Yeah, or it's not against the rules to take a phone to school, but to have it out during school hours is against the rules. No. Do you remember the day that her phone got misplaced? No. Do you remember the incident? Yes. Why don't you tell me your version of the incident? So, right here. Not there, right here. So after sixth period in my Spanish class, um, I saw a phone on the floor and everyone had left and school. the period was over. So. You saw a phone on the floor. I picked it up. And picked it up. Yes, and I was and asking. Where, and where did you put it? I was had it in my hand, and I was okay. asking people, "Do you know whose phone this is, or you know the owner, or anything like that?" And everybody was telling me, "No, no, 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 no." So Isaiah comes in and says, "Oh, that's my phone." And Isaiah. Yes. Do you know him? Yes. Is he a friend of yours? No. Do you like him? No. So Isaiah came in to where? Into what room? No, I was outside and during the quad asking people as they were going to their class during seventh period. He came up to me and said, hey, that's my phone. And he tried to grab it out of my hand and it dropped on the floor. And then he picked the phone up and smashed it and threw it in the trash. Now there came a time when somebody from the principal's office discussed this phone with you. Yes. And did you tell the principal the same story? Yes. Or no, because they interviewed me with police. They interviewed you with police. And when they interviewed you with the police, what did you tell the police happened? They told me that if I didn't... No, no. Don't tell me what they told you. You tell me what you told the police. I said that I broke the phone. And did you tell them how you broke the phone? I said I just threw it on the floor. Inside or outside? Outside. Did you tell them why you threw it on the floor? No. Did you mention Isaiah's name? Yes. To the police? Yes. What did you tell them Isaiah did? I said Isaiah tried to grab the phone out of my hand and that's when it broke or cracked the first time. And I said that I put it, threw it on the floor. A second time? Yes. Is Isaiah still in school? Yes. Are you still in school? Yes. Did either of you get suspended from school? No. Did the police speak to you before or after you spoke to your parents? Before. After the police spoke to you, went home? Yeah. Who was the first person you spoke to, your mother or your father? Um, I think I spoke to my mother the day after because my mom comes home late and I didn't get the chance to talk to her. Who do you live with? My mom. So who watches you after school? My grandma's there too. And when you went home from school that day, did you tell your grandmother what had happened? No. So you waited until the next day to speak to your mother? 